The word of the week is... Equality! Bobby, what is the definition of equality? The state of being equal. Abigail, what does equality mean to you? Equality means to me when no one's better than anybody else and everybody is as good as other people. What does equality mean to you? Well, Bobby, equality to me means that everybody is treated the same and nobody gets treated differently. And I think it's really important as part of my job in our school to make sure that all of the children in school have equal access to everything that happens, whether that's they get equal access to the curriculum or to teaching, to clubs or to visits. We might look different. We might look different things. We might live in different places. With different people. We might like the different food. But we are all one family with God. We are all connected. Our world and all the people who live on it, it is our home. Nobody is more important. Nobody deserves more. Nobody has more rights. The right to have enough to eat and drink. A right to education. A right to play. A right to be creative. A right to be loved and safe. Yeah, yeah, she works the same. We all have responsibilities. Hello, my name is Bethany and I come from Crawford and I've been asked to say what equality means to me. And equality means that everybody should have what they need to flourish and to grow. Because God loves us all. God loves every single one of us and he loves us all the same. And equality means we should be treated the same. Whether we're a girl or a boy, whatever we look like, we should be treated the same and we have the right to have the same things. All share one world. We all have to look after it. And each other. We are a global, global family. Equal with our brothers and sisters. The church is global too. Pope Francis reminds us we are all equal in our common home. Pope Francis has written a letter addressed to every person on this planet asking us all to protect the earth, our common home. In the letter he says, The earth is God's gift to us. It is full of beauty and wonder. A 
and it belongs to everyone. But what we see today is that our common home has never been so hurt and mistreated. We have developed at a greater speed than we could have ever imagined. And have treated the earth like it has an unlimited supply of resources. We have taken more than our fair share from most people on the planet as well as future generations. We have cut down the Earth's natural forests, polluted the Earth's waters, its land and its air. The Earth, our home, is beginning to look more and more like an immense pile of filth. We are using more and more polluting fossil fuels, which is contributing to climate change. Climate change is one of the biggest challenges we face today. Climate change affects us all, but it's the poorest communities who suffer the most. And despite these problems, we are not slowing down on how much we buy and throw away leaving a trail of waste and destruction. We cannot continue like this. We can change and we can make a new start. The whole human family needs to work together to care for our planet Earth so that we can sow beauty, not pollution and destruction. So let's put love for the world and love for our neighbours into action by living together in harmony and caring for nature. Can you take simple, everyday eco actions to care for the earth? Like turning off lights, reducing water waste, and recycling? And can you live more simply Reducing the amount of things we buy and throw away, so that we don't take more than our fair share. The world can't wait, so let's make that start today. Play your part to protect our common home. By that see a letter from Pope Francis on care for our common home. We must all look after our common home. We can look after the animals. We can pray for people. For our friends and all our brothers and sisters around the world. God made the world, the world for us all. We must share it equally. Remembering we are all created in the image of God. We are equal so we must only take our fair share the scripture this week is from galatians chapter 3 verse 28 and everyone this links to the word as it reminds us that there is no difference between us. In God's eyes, we are all equal and should all be treated the same.
We would like you to pray the body prayer. You will need a body outline and some ink or paint. Use your finger to make a print on the body. This shows we are all different but equal in one body. We can be different and special but we are all equal. <laughs> This links to our mission statement as we must trust in God that we that he made us equal. And if we treat everyone equally, we can create a better tomorrow. We need to to play more fairly and love more. Taking care of our world. All our brothers and sisters on it. We are all equal and this is our common home.